So is this movie in favour of fatalism, of standing back and just waiting to see what happens? That I think not. Uh, I, I would say very much that uh, it is the fact that uh, Fontaine takes so much trouble uh, that he uh, strips his bed and, uh, and, and takes the wire that he needs uh, from his own uh, under the mattress um, and that, that he uh, sees the possibility of the uh, tools that he needs falling into his hands uh, and when he isn't he goes and looks for them uh, and in a sense uh, because he does need the second person to go with him on the escape attempt uh, he has to make the decision about whether Jost is uh, a suitable uh, and not treacherous and also not foolish uh, person to uh, to break out of the prison with him. Uh, so uh, he is by no means uh, saying that uh, these things are uh, written from, from time immemorial, uh, that it is the person of enterprise um, with the good fortune or the, uh, uh, the, 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 the intelligence to take advantage of his situation uh, who can escape the uh, feelings of, of Germans. I mean, we never actually see the face of a German. Uh, either they are cut off at shoulder height or uh, they are seen from the back uh, and this I think is, is quite deliberate on Bresson's part uh, that uh, the, the enemy is demarcated in this way uh, and uh, the presence is felt but uh, uh, and this is illustrated of course most vividly uh, when you do not see the killing of the German uh, guard uh, towards the end of the film, uh, that uh, Bresson is, I think, aware that uh, this too is a human being and that uh, the people that we have seen who have died, uh, who we've known, uh, have been killed by the Germans and that, that uh, tars them with, with, with pitch, but uh, uh, we are not shown them and we, we do not see them as human beings.